all the way to the tail end of the field. McDowell on the inside, Sindrick on the outside, and a third lane forming up. It is showtime at the Apollo right now. People beginning to make moves that they would not have made 10 or 15 laps ago. People throwing blocks that they would not have thrown 10 or 15 ago. Front of the pack, it's three wide from fifth on back. Josh Berry up to the sixth position. Now Larson moves and throws the block. Larson's trying to go up the gut. Larson will. Three wide for the lead at Daytona. Young Money with the power move courtesy of Kyle Busch who shoves him into the battle for the lead. They're three by three by three here in corner number four at Daytona. Kyle Larson trying to get the top five. Business picks up as the laps get fewer. Ten laps to go at the world center of racing. Outside lane has the advantage by a fender. That's going to be Austin Cindric, but the middle lane with Kyle Larson powers back. Little middle lane beginning to creep forward again. Larson now side by side with Cindric. Larson is in the middle. Cindric is up top. That's the wheel to wheel battle for the lead. Chug it on the inside. Here comes Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell's going to lose pace just a tad. That leaves Larson and Cindric to race for the lead. Cindric now will get a shove. He'll go out in front. Thanks to Josh Berry. Here comes McDowell. Thanks to Logano. Logano recharged the batteries for Michael McDowell. Just shoves him out ahead about a full car length to the lead. Where does he go? They're three wide behind McDowell to the top to block Larson. Now keep your eye on Kyle Busch, guys. He's got a strong car right behind Kyle Larson right there. He's been up front the last 15 or 20 laps. That number eight car is running great right now. And boy, do they need a good finish for Richard Childress Racing. Boy, they sure do. They are eight rows deep. Trouble, Michael McDowell gets turned in the face of the field. Oh, my heart. They're coming apart. Everybody's torn up. Three cars have made it through. A number of others trying to creep through on the apron. Michael McDowell running second, trying to throw a block. He got turned up the banking in the face of the field. Reddick involved. Byron involved. Larson involved. Justin Haley is torn up. Bubba Wallace is torn up. McDowell, Joey Logano, and that's not nearly the full list. Caution on the speedway for the sixth time with just nine laps to go, heading off into the 31 degrees of banking. Dave, you can feel the energy beginning to ramp up, and the energy was not positive. Yeah, you, you didn't have to be Karnak the Magnificent to figure out what was coming, Alex. Three wide, nobody giving a lift throwing monstrous blocks in every turn, and it just came unglued for Michael McDowell. He tried to move up the banking and throw a block. He was just maybe six inches too late, turned him head on into the wall in the face of the field, and it was just carnage from then on. And we are under caution. We're under caution now for the sixth time. Cindric will be shown as the race leader, Josh Berry, Kyle Busch. After that, at the moment, it's more than likely anybody's guess. Michael McDowell flew that Ford, I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet. It was a long way on the hood of Joey Logano's Ford Mustang. McDowell down on all four tires, though. That car did not go over. From Daytona International Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. Six to go next time by. The field right now under caution. 70 miles an hour off the banking and turn two where it all broke out. We're only going to be able to scratch the surface, I think, with our first rundown. Involved in the crash, Justin Haley, Michael McDowell, Kyle Larson, Tyler Reddick, William Byron, Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, Alex Bowman, you probably have a, a, a few more cars than what I have. Yep, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Christopher Bell got some of it, Ryan Blaney, Chris Busher also got part of it. If you listen close, yeah, that's right. Two more of our drivers right around the playoff cut line involved in this. Bubba Wallace is, and Chris Busher got a chunk of it as well. We look at the points as they run right now. Ross Chastain, who's got a beat-up race car from a wreck earlier, is back in the playoffs by one point over Bubba Wallace. As he came in, and here we are, that one point, 153 laps ago, has returned to exactly one point. Uh, what a ride for Michael McDowell. He was leading right up against the outside safer barrier. Behind him, Austin Sindrick. Was it a bump gone wrong? Don't know. That turned Michael McDowell. 
Michael McDowell then was clipped by Joey Logano at the bottom of the racetrack. That put Michael McDowell up and in the air, riding Logano's hood all the way up the racetrack. And Alex Bowman drove directly underneath the car of the flying Michael McDowell? Yeah, and he, but he scuffed up the right side of the car against the safer barrier, and as McDowell's car was coming back down to earth, the left rear of McDowell's car caught the spoiler of Alex Bowman's car and basically sheared it away on the left rear corner of that race car. So uh, very close call for Alex Bowman. Could have been a heck of a lot worse. As it is, they're going to be able to do a quick repair on that car and get him back in the competition. Dave Moody, I said uh, earlier, and then we had the big one just how close they were running and i had just referenced uh what the top 27 running a matter of a second and a half apart and again it all broke out that's the one thing about daytona if you have something small not saying that the uh, bump draft gone wrong is small but where it happened at the front of the field turns out to be a colossal disaster for several. Running that closely, Jeff, just maybe six inches between front bumpers and back bumpers, maybe another six inches door to door. It doesn't take much of a mistake. It doesn't take much of, of a miscalculation at all to have happen what happened just a couple of minutes ago here in turns one and two when the entire field just exploded almost entirely. At one point, a grand total of three cars had made it through the wreck. Others managed to limp their way through eventually, but from fourth place on back, it was everybody in the pool. You're right about that, Dave. It was just insane how much carnage there was down there in turns one and two here at Daytona. So uh, Dave Moody in one and two, well, he's had some problems over in front of him in the race. Mike Bagley on the Daytona, uh, Daytona Super Stretch has had problems over there. And Chris Wilner over in turns three and four, he too's had some issues with cars having problems. There's not one section of this racetrack, Jeff, that I guess you could call safe. No, not at all. And, and especially at our feet here when we get there when that black and white checkered flag is flying over the Daytona International Speedway. We were watching Michael McDowell on the uh, NASCAR TV with him being virtually upside down, windshield to windshield with Joey Logano. Michael McDowell's helmet could not have been more than five feet from the helmet of Joey Logano, separated only by two windshields of those Ford Mustangs. Now, pit road is open, and we will see some cars make their way down. Most of these cars were running at the tail end of the field. They include Ross Chastain. They'll go right side tires. Alex Bowman is in. Damage fixing continues there. Other cars making their stop. Postman in front of you. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek brings his car in. BJ McLeod is in, and they continue to work on the Bubba Wallace car. Damage on the front end, and they're working on the hood of that car to make sure they have good clearance on the hood. Continue to work on that automobile. You guys have referenced it. As Ross Chastain drives by, this is a pretty spirited battle here for the final spot between Ross Chastain and Bubba Wallace. And right now, Booty Barker and this team are just trying to nurse this thing home and get every point they can possibly get as they continue to work on this Toyota Camry down here for Bubba Wallace. The damage vehicle policy clock has expired on two cars, and they're out of the race and going to the garage area they are ryan blaney and ricky stenhouse jr they will be scored out of the race uh, jeff they're still racing to go here we're down to five laps to go in the coke zero sugar 400 clean up uh, about to wrap up over there in turn Let's get to the care center first. Joey Logano is out, looks all right, but you just saw yet another wreck car going over, just shaking your head. How do you explain tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a speedway racing, man. It's um, it's a lot of fun till it's not. <laughs> and, um, you know, we did a good job keeping our car in position all night, you know, up in the top five the whole race. Um, got a stage win, which is great. Um, and I, McDowell just got turned um, and came down in front of me, nowhere to go. And, um, it seems like I, I think he's okay as well. So um, pretty big hits there. Um, and then horrible to see Josh Berry there a second ago um, upside down on the wall. Got to figure out how to keep the cars on the ground. Not doing enough to fix that. All right, Joey Logano out after his wreck after another dominating car tonight. 
More from Mike here coming up shortly. Back to the Advent Health Care Center, and let's hear from Justin Haley. Justin Haley out of the care center. You found yourself up front. Usually there's safety out there. Describe what happened from your windshield. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just uh, last few laps of the speedway race. So, um, yeah, good run for us. Uh, appreciate everyone at RWR for their hard work. Had a good car, led some laps, and, uh, yeah, go to one of our better tracks next week. What do you take away from something like this? When you were out there, you were leading laps, you're leading the field. Yeah, it's just fuel strategy and pit stops and stuff. I mean, we uh, just got lucky to uh, flip one of the one of the stages there and we're able to uh, get up front. So, yeah, good run. Right, Justin Haley out of the care center tonight. Let's get you back to the Advent Health Care Center now. And here's Alan Cavana. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. checked and released. What happened from what you saw? I was just running in the middle there, um, you know, kind of saved our car all day. and. Uh, actually made our way closer to the front uh, a little quicker than I thought we were going to be able to. Um, you know, that caution kind of killed us. We had been saving a ton of fuel um, in the spot that we were in. Felt like we were going to gain some track position on that um, green flag pit stop. But obviously we didn't get that, you know, and, and we were mired back in, you know, 20th. And so we got, you know, the third row um, on the end in the middle there and looked like the two just turned the 34 and uh, then we all piled in there. So uh, just part of it. All right, just part of it, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. ends his night here yeah. at the Care Center. And back to Alan Kavana. Michael McDowell nearly went over. Now he's watching a replay of Josh Berry going over, but he is out consulting with Joey Logano right now. Michael, it's good to see you out here. After that near wreck, you're watching Josh Berry yeah. do it right now. Let's I'm talk about yours about and what happened to you going in the corner. Okay, his was way worse than mine, so glad to see him walk out of that. You know, it's racing at a super speedway. It's a, you know, it's not the cutoff race, but it feels like the cutoff race, right, to get into the playoffs. And we are putting ourselves in position to have a fighting chance and really proud of everybody at front row. That's what we needed to do. We needed to be up front and have a shot at it. And, you know, just going into turn one there, I'm, I haven't seen it, but I felt like I got turned. Now, whether that was, you know, a big run coming or a big shove coming, you know, the two was pushing me good and um, I just kind of got pushed off in the turn one and it took off. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm, a, I'm not mad at him. I mean, it's it's super speedway racing everybody going for. It. He was trying to be a, a good Ford teammate and push me to the front. We, we almost had, the, you know, the five cleared. So I'll have to go back and watch it. But, um, you know, just bummed for my team. We had a really fast Ford Mustang and, you know, you just it's, you got to win to to get in, and we didn't do that. Anytime you're airborne, it looks scary. You're okay? Yeah, the the hits weren't bad. I mean, um, like I said, that that four car right there is uh, way worse than what I had going on. Um, you know, I felt it go up in the air. Then I felt I'm not sure who it was that that hit me while I was in the air, but it felt like that kind of set me back down. So, um, you know, we we'll always look at it and study it and see if there's anything we can do differently. But um, yeah, it's the end of a it's the end of a Daytona, and you have that. Michael McDowell, okay, guys. Interesting vibe down here as they're coming out of the care center after a big wreck, and yet they're watching the replay of the Barry wreck with the first time they've seen it. Everyone kind of enthralled with that right now. It's an interesting situation. Uh, let's get you back to the care center and catch up with Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney debriefing right now with teammate Joey Logano. Blaney was involved in that initial wreck with the 34. How do you explain the, the end of these races and what you see from here and what you can control? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't really see much. Um, it happened quick. I saw the Shell Penzo logo get really big really quick. Um, <laughs> actually, I didn't even see that. I was looking at my mirror at the time, and next thing I knew, I was in the steering wheel. So, uh, yeah, just things happen fast and unfortunate uh, early ending to our evening. All right, Ryan Blaney in and out of the care center. Yeah, tough break for Ryan Blaney and everybody else who's been swept up in a crash here tonight. Back under the caution flag as the red flag has been lifted from Daytona International Speedway. This is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR.